an unmistakable and popular landmark in southern Sri Lanka. The Gold Fort also enjoys world recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its historical and archaeological significance. Today, the Dutch Fort is home to a multi-ethnic population, of which the vast majority are Muslims. The Miran Mosque, situated down Lane Burn Street, as an important landmark in the area built by Muslim traders over a century ago in keeping with the local architecture. The Muslim community here have preserved and passed down their unique religious and cultural traditions over several generations. Contributing significantly towards this in recent decades has been the Gaul Muslim Cultural Association GMCA, which was established in 1963 by a group of Muslim youth living within the fort under the patronage of Al Hajj Mm Ibrahim. During the inception years, the association was headquartered at the present T Control Board building, following which operations were shifted to number 17 Padlet Street. Later, the Markans building became a popular venue for meeting among Muslim youth. In 1965, the GMCA was relocated to its present location, alongside the Miran Mosque, and has since actively promoted religious and cultural values and provided education opportunities for Muslim youth in particular. The GMCA has found acceptance not just from the local Muslim community and civil society, but also from the law. In 1976, a law was passed to incorporate the Gaul Muslim Cultural Association, enabling it to render a better service to the Muslim community. This was further enhanced by the GMCA being recognized as a government-approved charity in 1979. Ahadiyya classes imparting knowledge of Islam among school children have been conducted by the association during Sundays for over five decades a tradition which the association hopes to continue and improve on the every passing year. A dedicated staff and committee have helped the GMCA achieve many successes by working closely with the local Muslim community. Open daily to the public, the association has become a popular place for locals to meet and greet as well as to catch up on the news. Ahmed Hussein, also well known as Major, being the oldest Muslim living in the fort, has much to narrate. Gaul Muslim Association took much pain over Ahadiyya. That's the main thing, we were small children being brought up to a good position. Everyone appreciates that. 
We can't uh, forget uh, the fact. Fifty years. That we are now only on the forty-nine. Next year, fifty. Half a century. We are. We have to take much pain to celebrate uh, century celebrate too. Since the inception of the association in 1963, Miladun Nabi celebration have been among the main annual highlights. Conducting Hadith Majlis for 11 days during the month of Rabil Awal is a meritorious deed undertaken by the association. To mark the event, various competitions on Kirat, Oratory, General Knowledge, Qasida, Essay writing and calligraphy have targeted and attracted school children from the southern province and other part of the country. Maintaining peace and fostering intercommunal harmony is another function of the association. Over the years, association members have played a crucial role in resolving conflicts and diffusing tensions such as during the riots in 1981. Learning to read and recite the Quran from an early age is ordained Islam. The GMCA conducts a special program for children in the area to ensure that opportunities exist to learn the teachings of Islam. <laughs> Quran classes, Quran Tarjima and Tajweed is conducted on a weekly basis by Islamic scholars working with the association. The GMCA conducts several religious activities on a regular basis. Among them, the Salawat Majlis and the Salawatun Nariya conducted every month is of much prominence. The Badegama project is a unique initiative undertaken by the GMCA. The association has taken on the responsibility of conducting weekly Quran classes for Muslim juvenile delinquents housed at the Bade Gama Detention Center. Bade Gama Samita Teo, who enjoys the distinction of being the first Buddhist monk to enter parliament, is among the religious and community leaders who are working closely with the GMC. I'm very happy to hear that Goal Muslim Cultural Association is going to celebrate their 50th anniversary. They are like part of our life because we have been doing a lot of work together, especially in the field of harmony, inter-religious and intercultural among the various communities. Uh, they have enriched the communities and they have strengthened uh, the ties between, uh, between uh, communities and various times they have been working with me and uh, so therefore I have a very good uh, impression about them and they are honest and they uh, what their work is always not only appeal to Muslims it appeals to the whole uh, whole uh, community and it uh, message they send to the other communities is very positive one the GMCA has actively engaged in community service over the decades working in partnership with numerous aid and community support organizations. The association has helped to make a difference in the lives of many individuals. Assistance lent to flood victims in Akurasa in 2003 is one instance. Collecting dry rations together with the Gaul Fort Buddhist Temple for internally displaced Tamil people in the north following the end of the war in May 2009 is another such activity undertaken by the association. Such interventions and partnerships have brought the GMCA closer to the people of all faiths and from different geographic locations, 
and made it a shining example as a promoter of intercommunal harmony. Venerable Hemalokatero, the chief incumbent of the Gold Fort Buddhist Temple, shared his views on GMCA's contributions towards fostering amity among all citizens in the locality. <laughs> GMC officials with representatives of the Oman Embassy, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the captain of the Jewel of Muscat at the Gold Harbor. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I'm so happy to be involved today. And I'm even more delighted to have been invited by the Royal Cultural Association to be a, a patron of this particular association. What makes me really, my soul stirs is that this association has now almost coming to 50 years of their existence. And to invite me as a patron at this part of this half century is such a honor. I'm here today when the expression is going to share and care for the families during the last 10 days of Ramadan. The whole is one to all of us. To be here today also to do with scholarships makes again my soul stir. I'm glad that I'm here today and I'm glad and impressed with the work that this particular expression has done in this city, which I conceive, consider this particular fort to be a spiritual fort. We are fort where people of this area, the people in the fort, have rendered human service to the underprivileged, human service to the spirituality of Islam, human service to the holy men who visit this fort for many, many years. For me to be part of this, by being a resident of Colombo, and to be part of this and be invited to is my immense joy. So to be here today on this Saturday morning, to be among the members of the session, to be among the members of those who are needy, to be among the members of people who have just completed GCA levels and are looking for scholarships is such an honor. I am so thrilled and I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this honor that he has bestowed on me for being a patron of this expression. And I wish this expression, I wish the committees, I wish everyone here a great future to go continue in this great spirit of giving, of sharing and caring to over to continue this great work that we've been doing for almost half a century. As a civic-minded organization, the GMCA recognizes the importance of providing children with a well-balanced education. For this uh, scholarship program, we are closely monitoring the students' uh, progress, which has been very successful. So we, we give uh, very low about 25 30 students. We closely see their progress. Mashallah, we see every year four to five students entering the university out of that to uh, at least two students selecting to do medicine. To ensure this, the GMCA has pledged to discuss prevailing concerns with local officials and render its support to several needy schools in the Gold District. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. 
Praise be to Allah, Lord, Lord of the worlds. I am indeed happy and thankful that we are today able to celebrate the 50th anniversary of our beloved organization, the Gaur Muslim Cultural Association. We started this organization 50 years back with only 25 youngsters. Most of us were students and without much means. But Alhamdulillah, with the help of the elders and other supporters and villagers, we were able to undertake many activities for the betterment of the community and the nation. We have been focusing on racial amity, economic elevation and educational activities. We are today a reputed organization uh, in Sri Lanka and also have relations overseas. We have also have a branch in London and we are hoping that with the uh, strength that we have gained over the years that we will be able to focus further on these activities, especially on racial harmony and goodwill and ensure that our organization progresses from strength to strength in charge. As it celebrates its 50th anniversary, the Gaul Muslim Cultural Association can look back and feel proud of the numerous contributions it has made towards the promotion and preservation of the unique religious and cultural traditions of the Gaul Muslims. Since its inception, the association has also sought to maintain close ties with all communities within the Gulf Fort and even beyond. 